Queen of Tears, episode 12. Y'all see the progress bar? You already know what time it is. Spoilers ahead. Watch at your own risk. I wanted to keep this under 60 seconds, but there was too much plot development in here for, for me to not talk about all the stuff I need to talk about. Let's get into it. Mr. Yoon put a head out on my boy Hyun Woo. How dare he? Even in this situation, his hands tied, his feet tied, needle to his neck, he kept his composure and was like, listen, you can you can do what you fit to do in five minutes or less. Call the person who hired you to do this. I bet you they won't keep their promise. Because after, after what happens to me is done, you'll be charged for 20 years in prison for what you did to me. If you let this go, you'll get three years with a chance at probation. And I'll just let everything slide. Even in this crazy situation, Hyunwoo kept his calm, he kept his composure, and he had his wits about him. He talked himself out of this whole head. The only thing is he didn't tell Hyun that Mr. Yoon is after his life, which could come down the line. The fact that he didn't tell Hyun that, Hyun literally told him a couple episodes ago, tell me everything that happens. And he's keeping stuff secret again. Mm, I don't know if that's going to bite him, but hey, congratulations on getting out of this. You did what a lesser man could never. I, I didn't, I got to show y'all this because her mind is going at a crazy rate. It's Hyun Woo. Now it's Mr. Yoon. What that signifies is currently, and the reason she's even at her old home is because she mistook Mr. Yoon for being Hyun Woo, and exactly what she feared is happening. She told Hyun Woo he, she didn't want him around when her memory deteriorated, and that's what's happening. Now she's having a hard time even recognizing who's actually who. That's why you see that look of kind of like, can I trust myself? It's a little bit of look of fear. It's a little bit of look of, is this really what I'm seeing? Is it actually happening? Because she realizes, like, hey, it's the, the sickness is hitting. The sickness is hitting. But that was actually Hyun Woo, so we, we cool. Another important moment. Hyun Woo, he didn't ask Hyun to remarry him. He asked for a divorce withdrawal. However, because she knows her, her time is going to be limited and she really still doesn't want him to see her at the end at how bad it could be for her, she told him to get a refund on that ring. Uh, she don't, she don't want to she don't want to go through that because her time is super limited. It just don't make sense to her. And after she declined, she cried in the car. And I don't know if he actually cried, but he definitely had some sad boy hours going on. Heart touching moment between these two again. Just she was expressing how she's jealous that he takes care of his mom and she can't even take care of her sick dad. And he was like, honestly, my mom left. My dad was uh, not the greatest. She left, and I only came back because I heard she got dementia, and I took her out to the nursing home, and now I'm taking care of her. I would, he said that he would actually, he hopes she gets better so that he can argue with her while she's sane. And prophetic words was that he told her, don't be jealous because every person carries heavy stones in their pockets. You never know what another person is dealing with. You are looking at it from the outside in, thinking it's, it's a perfect scenario you wish you could have, but really... I'm carrying just as much trauma as you, just as much regret as you. This was a this was a really like deep wisdom filled scene. Again, I could really care less about their relationship, but th this scene heavy. She comes back, woohoo! I really I really don't understand how he's so accepting when she's part of the reason your family's in the situation that it's in. And the only reason she came back is because she realized the grass isn't greener on the other side. So I'm kind of, I can't believe I'm about to say this, y'all. I agree with the mom. You can't just come back in here because your, your actual baby's father's treating you bad because you think, oh, I did this, I did this. Oh my gosh, now I feel so bad. No, like you did that. You willingly got married under false pretenses to, to trick the son and to scam us. I don't care what's happening. You not welcome back. Never will be, never can be. And I still don't like her, but I fully agree with her in this scenario. She can't be walking back that easy. Now, here's the, here's the dangerous part going into next episode. She knows that the secret fund is somewhere in the house, and I believe they bugged the house. It's probably got cameras, listening devices, everywhere, just all throughout that place. And she told the family, hey, because the granddad gone. The granddad gone. He ain't here no more. He gone. So her power of attorney, also gone. So they kicking her out the house, the family, taking back what's theirs. But she tells them, your father left this house. Please give him one more tour. Why would she say that unless she secretly hid a camera in the funeral picture of the dad? Like, come on, bro. Y'all making this too obvious. In that picture, I promise y'all, there's a camera somewhere in that picture. So when they find, when they do find the secret um, panic room, 
Mr. Yoon and his mom, they're going to know about it. And they're going to secretly raid this house to get that cash. Okay, last little segment because this video is getting hella long. And I'm try I, I honestly wanted to keep this under 60 seconds, but there was no way I could do that. This is back in the past when High End almost drowned and then she lost her brother. And the whole time she thought her brother saved her and she was the reason she lost her brother, which was the reason the mom didn't like her. Come to find out, what are the chances, y'all? Hyun Woo and Mr. Yoon are the kids in here and it's actually Hyun Woo that saved High End's life. But Mr. Yoon was there. He tried, to his credit. I think he tried to save her, but he couldn't find her. So the only downside here is that at dinner earlier, he lied and said, that kid was me. High end, I saved you as a kid. I pulled you out that water. Oh, bro, the moms looked at the looked at the little family book, and I think they realized that, oh, shoot, it's Hyun Woo that actually saved High End. So when that comes to light, when High End and Hyun Woo realize, I saved you as a kid at the beach, this MP3 player, you're the girl that I helped up that got injured. I've loved you your entire life. We were destined to be together. This scene, I promise you, when they realize that, this scene is fitting to hit way different. But next episode, I like this is the last little bit. This is like the preview of the next episode. High End is smiling and wearing the ring that she told him to refund. So I think something's going to change. And she's going to realize, you know what? I don't want the divorce. Let's withdraw it. Let's live. And even if she does have a little bit of time left, let's live it happily together. So I'm hyped for next week. And like I said, I honestly, and this is the honest truth. The weekends watching this show has been like the highlights of my weekends. I am in love with this show. And shout out to anybody that made it all the way through this video. Because I know it's long. I know it's hard to hold people's attention. I appreciate y'all. Y'all the real MVPs. I'm going to try not to make it this long next week. No promises, but I'm going to try.